to my channel. There has been a fashion trend that's been kind of making its way to be a trend. It's kind of like peeking here and there. You've probably seen some of your favorite fashion bloggers or fashion influencers or some at some of the stores that you've been shopping at, but mostly high-end designers are actually making these. And instead of spending a fortune on this new trend, I thought it would be fun to DIY them, right? Because why not? So today we are gonna be DIYing super cute hair barrettes. I've been wanting some of these hair barrettes for a while, but I don't wanna spend a fortune on them. And hair barrettes are great for like keeping back your baby hair, just like kind of like what I need right now, or adding a cute accessory to your hair. Maybe when you're dressing down, you can dress up a casual look by adding a really cute hair barrette to your hair. So I just picked up some super cheap barrettes from Target as our base and they were pretty cheap. They were like four or five dollars for a pack of three and then some fake pearls and some sticky rhinestones from Joann's and that's pretty much all we're gonna need for this project so let's get started. So the first barrette that we're gonna be making is a white pearl cluster barrette and what you're gonna need for this DIY is an oval barrette some white felt and some white pearls. So first we're gonna get started by cutting out and tracing the barrette out of felt so that we have a piece to lay on top and then we're actually gonna make our clusters of pearls on. So before you attach the white felt to the barrette itself, we're gonna actually design what we want our barrette to look like. And I went with this kind of clustered flower look and you can do really anything that you want. But I started with the largest pearl that I had and I put three pearls in a row spaced about almost an inch apart and then I'm gonna go around each of those pearls with a smaller pearl slightly smaller that's the my medium sized pearl and kind of make the petals of a flower and I'm gonna do this three times so around each of the large pearls And after I'm done making my three small clustered flowers, I'm gonna go back in with my smaller pearl and fill out all of the negative space and where there's still white felt showing. So I'm just gonna keep adding and make kind of that oval shape so that it can go right on top of my barrette and look completely covered in pearls and be really cute. So once I finished adding in all of my pearls, I'm gonna hot glue that piece of felt and pearls right on top of my bread. So just trimming the outside of the bread in hot glue, just placing it right on top. So the next barrette that we're gonna be doing is a white pearl oval barrette. And what I'm gonna do is hot glue the pearls directly to the barrette this time around the edge and perimeter of the barrette and alternating small pearl, medium pearl, or medium pearl, large pearl, medium pearl, large pearl, and alternating them all the way around and just hot gluing them directly to it until it's all complete. And this is kind of an, a good addition to our larger clustered barrette and it'll be really cute worn together too. The last barrette that we're going to be making today is a tortoise expressions barrette using these stick-on rhinestones. So first I'm just going to write out exactly the word that I want to put on the barrette so that I have it close by so that I don't mess up. And then using just a regular pencil, I'm going to sketch and draw out the actual words directly on the barrette. We're gonna cover it up anyways with rhinestones and it's really gonna help you as a guide to know exactly how to apply and where to put your rhinestones so that you don't have to keep referring back to something. So once I've got that all sketched out, I'm gonna be using these stick-on rhinestones, which are e really easy to use, and some tweezers. So picking up each rhinestone with the tweezers, you're just going to place the rhinestones directly on the sketched word that you wrote out on your barrette and pushing down pretty firmly on top of each rhinestone so you make sure that it sticks really, really good so that none of your rhinestones fall off and just continue to place your rhinestones right over that word until you're all done and you're all complete. This one turned out super cute and I can't wait to wear it.
some super cute and inexpensive hair barrettes for your accessory collection and they're so cute! I'm obsessed! And you can do any pattern you want, you can add some color, use different bases, whatever you want. This trend is super simple to DIY as you guys just saw and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And in the spirit of Valentine's Day, although Valentine's Day was yesterday, I would so, 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 so love if you guys hit the like button and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I upload videos every week. So if you love DIYs just as much as I do, I would love, 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 love. I've got a lot of love on this after Valentine's Day video. Would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button below and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.